so today I'm just going to do this sort of little review on something that um, I've never really thought I would review because uh, it's, you know, something that I don't think many people will really review so I'm going to take this opportunity and reviewing it. So, um, yeah, this is a book which came with the... Uh, 30th anniversary VHS box set release, and I think it is limited edition, and it had stories which were Planet of the Daleks, and R Remembrance of the Daleks, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but yeah. And in that box set, uh, there was this free book that came with it, and uh, I haven't got that box set, but I obtained this at a Doctor Who convention I was at last year. Um, I got it for about one pound, and I thought that was an absolute bargain, and you can't really say no to that. So, it's basically uh, a little guide to all the Dalek stories in the classic series up to Remembrance of the Daleks, um, and it's pretty basic, really. Uh, the cover is just got a nice little picture of a Dalek illustrated on the front. And it says the Daleks, a history from BBC Video, uh, and it's celebrating the 30th anniversary of Doctor Who, which was 1963 to 1993. Uh, the back, there's nothing really on it. Uh, it's just a plain, basic blue uh, cover, blue uh, colour, and it just says BBC Enterprises Limited, 1993. There's nothing on the spine either. So if we take a look inside, we've got the Daleks, a uh, history bomb from BBC Video, and just as the Daleks, and it's got all the uh, stories, and it's got a bit of history about the Daleks, and the Daleks are my favourite monsters, um, and it's got um, an introduction by Michael Mc. Mc Manus, uh, text by Andrew Pixley, and uh, there's some information about its publishers. Publishers. Uh, so yeah, it's got the Daleks until Remembrance of the Daleks. It's about forty-three pages. It's quite quite a thin book, really. It's got a history about the Daleks, uh, and that's the introduction, um, and that's the history. And then, first off, of course, we have the Daleks, and it has the amount of episodes and the end and well, the start and end for its broadcast dates. Um, and here it says the Dalek Invasion of Earth, six episodes. Uh, not one of my favourite Dalek stories, to put it bluntly. I know it's regarded as one of the popular ones of the 60s, but in my case, it's not really that favourited. Uh, we've got The Chase here with uh, six episodes, 1965. Um, and here we've got Mission to the Unknown, um, just one ep just the one episode in 1965. And then here we've got The Daleks' Master Plan, uh, one of the highly anticipated Dalek stories that we want recovered. Um, it's one of the ones that everybody wants back. Um, and the surviving episodes are absolutely just fantastic. You can't go wrong with them. Uh, and this one's 12 episodes, so for those people who aren't very knowledgeable about the classic series and don't really know your Dalek stories very well, it, this one's 12 episodes long, and it's from 1965 to 1966, so it's double the length of the, of the average six-parter, so <laughs> that should be fun to listen to. Okay, so here we've got the escape. Now, I believe this is uh, in the Daleks' very first story. Um, it's just got a little brief uh, description about. Um, it's got, you know, I'm not sure why that's there. It just says here Carolyn Ford and Susan uh, meets John Lee as Alidon Athal. In the petrified forest outside the spaceship, it's basically just a still from that particular story. And here we have Dalek invasion of Earth, nineteen sixty-four. Uh, the Houses of Parliament provide a backdrop to a Dalek-dominated England in the year twenty-one sixty-seven. Uh, and then we have the Dalek invasion of Earth again, um, 
and D Anne Davies left and Jacqueline Hill at the mercy of a Dalek. And then we've got World's End, which was one of the title of the episodes, and here we have a really iconic image of the Dalek coming out of the water. Um, everyone's talking about that particular scene when they discuss the episode. Uh, we've got a still here from, I believe, it's it's The Chase, um, from 1964. Doctor Who and Friends with the Aridans, Aridians and a Dalek on Desert of the World, or the Desert World. Then we have the Patrick Charlton era um, with The Power of the Daleks, which is six episodes from 1966. Um, and then we, for some reason, have Genesis of the Daleks all the way over here, unless I've skipped a page. Um, nope, I haven't skipped a page. For some reason, uh, it's a bit messy in places, because, as you can see, it's got an image from Evil of the Daleks when it says Power of the Daleks. It's one of the things I don't really like about this book. I think it's fairly un unorganised. Um, we've got Genesis of the da uh, Genesis of the Daleks um, from 1975, regarded as one of the best Doctor Who stories of all time. Uh, Destiny of the Daleks, of course, in 1979, probably one of the worst Dalek stories in my view. Uh, Destiny of the Daleks again, and um, here we have Remembrance of the Daleks in 1988. Uh, the Black Dalek makes an appearance in the London um, of November 1963. That's quite nice. There's quite good images in here. Um, you know, quite a few iconic scenes. Uh, Destiny of the Daleks in 1979. Uh, Remembrance of the Daleks in 1988. And here it says The Evil of the Daleks, uh, which should have been <laughs> quite a while ago. And this has seven episodes, and this is one of my favourite stories of all time. We've got a uh, still from Remembrance of the Daleks. Uh, it's got loads of really good detail on each story um, and it's just really really good and here it's got Day of the Daleks which again should have been quite a long time ago and that's four episodes Planet of the Daleks which is six episodes in 1973 um, Death, Death to the Daleks uh, four episodes in 1974 and here is Genesis of the Daleks six episodes in 1975 uh, Destiny of the Daleks, and here it's where it gets to. This is, um, this is where it starts to get more organised. It's a bit of it's a bit of a weird layout. This book, I don't know why they've laid it out like this. Uh, so this one's Resurrection of the Daleks, two double length episodes in 1984. Uh, personally, I found that story absolutely dreadful. Um, Revelation of the Daleks, two double length episodes in 1985. I personally like that Dalek story really. I found it quite good. Um, Remembrance of the Daleks, uh, four episodes in 1988. Um, and here we've got the end sort of you know, descriptions, and it's got, yet again, more information about the order of the Dalek stories. So that is your copy of The Daleks, A History from BBC Video, uh, celebrating its 30th anniversary. So, thank you for watching this uh, review. Uh, tell me what you thought of it. Um, a bit random, and I wasn't really telling you if I, this was going to happen. I just thought, why not review something unordinary? If that's the right word, I don't know. But yeah, thank you for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you find this book anywhere, it might be worth picking it up because it is pretty good. So, take care, and bye for now.